Hello, and welcome to another L Swords GM blog update video. Today is December the 4th, 2019, and let's get into it. So, we have Gather the Gang because it's time to party up. Hey, adventurers, this is the week to party, literally and figuratively. A new party mechanic will be released this week. And we'd like you to go out there, gather your friends, and see how you like this new party system. Don't worry, you'll be rewarded while having fun. And as always, don't forget, there's plenty of new amazing stuff at the item while coming at you. Alright, so, we have the new party list event, along with the new party system update. So, let's go and check it out. Party list celebration from December the 4th to December the 17th, 2019. Get your squad ready. Alright, the new party system has been added to make it more convenient for you to party up. How to use the system. So there are two ways to activate it, or to get to the menu where you can start your party list. The first method is to go to the bottom right hand corner of your screen, go down to the community party list tab, click it choose party list and that's how you get access it that's one way to access the party list the other way is to open the dungeon UI and in the bottom right hand corner where you see Q for dungeon you're gonna have another icon which you click to open the party finder menu from there there are only three regions that you can actually access via the party list which are Elria node Varnamir and Rigamore there are also the two special places that you can use the party system for, which are Farman's Peak, or the Drabahi Raid, and the Heroic Dungeon. No secret dungeons. Interesting that they uh, voided that out of the selection. So, all in all, uh, the party system, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, just me going through... Uh, getting into a party and also showing you how to make your own uh, party finder so that you can have people join your party. So, party members directly formed through invitation or other will not be included in the party list. However, they can be added separately using the create party from party list commands. Parties that are dormant, no change for 60 minutes, will automatically re be removed from the party list. So people who join the party list uh, applicants list. If they don't do anything for an hour, they get booted automatically. To start a dungeon, you must stop recruiting when you create a party using the party list, and then you can start the dungeon. Camp Tiny Spirit NPC's Raid Invite button will be changed to Find a Party button. You can now open Find Party functionality through the Community Community Party menu below. A view equipment icon is added so players can easily check information about their party members. So now you can check your party's dungeon equipment and CP levels and all of that via the, 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 you don't have to go, before this update, you would have to actually go to the specific channel and the specific area or resting place or town that they were in in order to see their equipment. Now, if they're in the party with you, you can check it wherever you are. So you don't have to break the party, leave, go to wherever they are, switch channels, do all that. It's, it's painless now. Very, very nice quality of life update edition. All right, so now, uh, my overall thoughts on this system, it's pretty great. Uh, been waiting for a system like this to be we used to have a system like this like a while while long time ago years ago we used to have a similar party finding system and it promoted more communication uh, between players and i think that is always a huge thing to have in a multiplayer game of any kind communication with people playing the game is paramount you cannot easily communicate with the people you're playing the game with there is something wrong and this game in particular promotes a lot of uh, people not communicating with each other. They just kind of join the party, do the dungeon, and do they don't communicate at all. Like, at almost ever. And I think that's a real shame. Uh, doesn't really help people with their communication, people skills, 
And it's just not as fun and engaging when your party members just aren't really saying much. Uh, there's no back and forth, there's no asking questions about your class, no asking questions about what your gear should be looking like, the progression system, just like anything. Uh, used the system today and I've had some of the most fun I've had playing uh, this MMO in a long time because I actually had to communicate with people as they joined the party, ask them how they were doing, if they want to go get get a darkness, but just very, very small things that would lead into bigger conversations about uh, helping party members who were lacking on gear, they needed accessories, and uh, getting their combat power up, and even certain L tiers on their L, you know, uh, set, all that. So I think this is a great system. Uh, kind of cumbersome for people who aren't going to communicate. <laughs> you might as well just do it. If you're not going to communicate, don't use the system. You're kind of wasting everybody's time. I've had so many runs just today using this uh, party finder system where people would just join. They wouldn't say anything for like five minutes and then they would give like a K or the letter R to say that they're ready. I'm like, just, just give me something, man. Come on. <sighs> so yeah, people's bad communication skills are gonna be put to the test and patience levels will also be put to the test. Like, please communicate with your party members, especially the party leader. It's so stressful dealing with people who aren't ready and people who are impatient. And it's just, all you have to do is communicate. Just let me know what's going on. If you need to take a break, if something just came up, if you, you you think that the party that you're in isn't going as fast as you would like them to go, just say it. It's okay. Just tell people that uh, the party isn't going the way you want it to be going, or this isn't what I had in mind when I wanted to get into this party, so I'm gonna try to get to another party. That's all you gotta say, and you just bounce. It's the more respectable way to say it, because we're gonna see you again. It'd be really uh, awkward for you to start a party, you the party leader, you don't really communicate with your party, you get into a run, the run doesn't go as well as you like to, and then you just disband the party and just disband the party immediately, and then you go right back into the party finder and make a new party, and it's just like, man, that, that's just, that's not cool. If you want people to, like, if you want like a good reputation, I guess, so that people will want to party with. But shrug, we'll see how it goes. I hope that this promotes better communication because there is potential here for people to actually start talking to each other again. And I look forward to that aspect of this, this new party finding system. All right, so let's go into the event details. Uh, it's a very small, like, small-time event. It's just, again, to co commemorate the new party system. So, when you clear two dungeons and a party or raid party of two or more members, you get a random elixir cube. One of the elixirs is a party EXP elixir. One of them is a drop rate elixir. And one of them is a combat power elixir. The combat power one is actually pretty nice. Um... And it's just at random. So every time you do a dungeon, you can just go out quickly, clear the quest, get your EXP, and roll for either EX, uh, roll your elixir for either EXP, drop rate, or combat power. And if you're using another elixir like Giant's Potion, Giant Hand, or uh, the Den of anything, any of the other like standard elixirs, they actually stack with each other. So you can use that on top of that, which is really, really nice. So it costs you nothing to just leave the dungeon for a second, roll for an elixir if you want to get some more EXP, drop rate, comet power. Handle that. Easy, and it ends December the 17th, so it's going to be here for a while, a couple weeks. Then we have uh, the beginning of next week, December the 7th through the 8th. So for two days, you will only have to log in accumulatively accumulatively accumu <laughs> you will only have to log in accumulatively and these are yours level 10 and up so wait this doesn't make any sense if you're supposed to log in 
I guess, okay, I think I understand. So for two days, you log in for... I think that's two hours? 120 minutes? So I don't know. Is it is it two hours total or an hour a day? I'm not too sure. If I if I'm understanding this correctly, you just need to be online for two hours total within two days, and you get your El Reno top, bottom gloves, shoes, color exchange tickets, uh, one for your weapon, and a third class change ticket if you want to change your class. Your third ship. Your third. Uh, their job class in particular. So there's that. Second weekend go party. Log in for 10 minutes and get re refined recovery potions. Oh my god. Uh, you also get EXP times 2 and drop rate times 2, which is super nice if you're uh, trying to grind up. Oh yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the elixir, th this is low key, really, really great. Uh, this. These drop rate and elixir elixirs uh, will probably stack really well with the EXP times two drop rate we get for December the 14th and the 15th. So yeah, not not too bad, not too bad. I'm really I'm a big fan of this new uh, party finder system. One of the best quality of life updates we've had in a long time. Those are my thoughts on that. All right, now let's check out the item all goodies. So we got a new pet, Dana. A uh, robot girl. Uh, AOE lasers cross screen. Not not too bad. We also have new wedding accessories with little party favors, balloons in the background. It's not not too bad. We also have a new guild skin, Winter Wonderland. It looks pretty amazing. I, it's also a new paid guild skin. So, what are we hoarding all these guild coins for? I have no idea. Super frustrating. Easily could have a system where you could pay for the guild skin with money or with guild coins. Most people are just gonna, or the most of the guild masters I know, are you're just gonna pay for it. And anybody who wants to like have a free to play or have something to do with the guild coins can buy it that way. Uh, so shrug on that one. Let's see what else we have. Alter crown package. So this is a new uh, costume suit. Yeah, it's a new costume suit for all characters. Uh, it, it, there's a little embedded video so you can see the little dance that comes with it as well. So overall, not too bad. I like it. I'll give it like... Ooh, I'll give it a B plus. I like it. And I think that's it. Yes. Costumes, guild skin, new pet, and the party finder update. That's it. Thank you guys for joining me for this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.